Right, usually we talk about Affinity Designer, but today I've got something a little bit different to show you. It's a piece of software that I think every designer, artist, or to be fair, anyone who needs to visually brainstorm or create vision boards for, and even use references, definitely needs. So if that's something that you're interested in, then let's go through it. Right, so this is called Pure Ref. It is a software that you can get for free. You know we like free. And it easily allows you to create a place to hold all your references or vision boards. Like I said, you can get it for free, but it's more of a pay what you want kind of software. So up here, you've got the download link and you can choose your different platforms. So it is suitable for Windows, Mac, and even Linux. And then down here, they suggest that you add a monetary contribution. If you do want it for free, just change this custom amount to zero, which it'll then say we totally get that you want to try before you buy. If you like it, definitely give them some support because it is just gonna make the software better. But you can actually choose however much you want to pay. And then you can just hit download. So if you're still a bit like, what the hell is he talking about? Then don't worry, I'm about to show you exactly how it works. The link to their website is in the description below. Oh, and they're not sponsoring me to make this video. It's literally because their software is amazing. That's kind of why I'm making it. Now, when you open it up, it's very simple, but also very intricate. So when you do open it up, this is what you'll be met with. Literally just a blank canvas. Now to move this window around, you actually hold the right click, not left click. So usually when you move a window and everything else, it's left click but you can see that's left click. With the right click, you can move the window around. And if we simply click the right button, it opens all the menu if we need it. Now, the great thing about this is how easy it is to create these vision boards. So if we move this to the side over here, which by the way, I've got this set to always on top. So no matter what window is open, Pure Ref is always at the very top. If you want to turn that off, you just simply right click, go down to mode and then change always on top. And you can use the shortcut as well. You can actually make it always on the bottom as well. Kind of entirely up to you, whatever works with you. Anyway, if we search for a simple image of, let's go with ducks. Let's say we wanted to make a poster of a duck. In fact, I'm going to move it up here just to keep it kind of away from everything else. So say, for example, we need to make a poster of a duck. So let's say we want this one. All we would literally do without doing anything else, you don't have to save any files, you don't have to do anything. You simply left click, drag, and drop it in Pure Ref. Now, if we zoom out of Pure Ref, you can see there's our reference. Move this around, and you can see this inner box here is now what's called our canvas. We can resize these images, twist them if we want. I don't know, never thought of why I'd want to do that, but we've got one in there. So let's say we like the look of this one. Simply drag and drop, pop it in there, resize, get a few other ones, drag and drop. That one, drag, drop. That one, drag, drop. Uh, this one, drag, drop. Okay, so we've got quite a few now. If we make this window bigger, we've got what's called an infinite scroll in this. So with Pure Ref, is you can make this canvas as big as you want. If we start zooming out, you can see that there is so much space to make this canvas much, much bigger. And you can kind of go as far as you want. If you ever do this and you can't zoom back in, because if you click off, you can't actually see where your canvas is and you can get stuck. You could always highlight it to figure out where it is. Just simply right click, go down to canvas, and reset camera zoom or just remember control shift g and then that'll get you back to being very close to where you were all right so we've got all our images if we want to move any of these images we use the left click so we can move this around move these to the side if we want to move the actual pure ref window we right click and hold and move it around and then the middle mouse is to zoom in and out or if you click with the middle mouse you can kind of pan as well very similar to a lot of design softwares anyway so if we were going to make something that we needed a duck for and we needed a bunch of references we've got them very very quickly if you really wanted to neaten this up as well you've got your whole menu area which actually if we go down to images here we can arrange them optimally which is something like that now we've got them all where we want and then very quickly and again if you actually learn these shortcuts it's a lot quicker to do this we can select all of these and then make our window size resize to selection and then we've got our references so if we had something like affinity designer open we could just have this in the corner here and then we'll be doing what we need to do what's great with this as well if you click one of these images if you just simply press ctrl c to copy and then go into affinity designer and press ctrl v we can just paste it straight in without having to download the file paste the file find whatever you know you don't have to do anything else all your image bank is right there. So let me show you some of the other things that this has got because uh, honestly, it's one of the best softwares I've ever found. Under our right click menu, we've also got some notes. So we can create notes and create titles. If you wanted to leave yourself a note later on, we could give this a nice little background, something like that, and then position this over here. And then let's say we were gonna make another one over on this side, we can kind of split them apart, but you can actually right click 
and save them as well. So you can save all these different vision boards and kind of reference boards that you've got and you can load them in as well. So it does save a huge amount of memory within your device because you're not having to download each of the images and kind of use them over and over again. And again, we've got a new scene if we want to kind of restart from the start. But also in this menu, which is really handy actually, is we've got window and lock window. What this means now is that no matter if we were trying to move this window, this little pop-up comes up saying window locked. And it gives you very conveniently the shortcut to unlock it. But we can still move things around within the canvas. But what we can also do is if we right click, go to canvas, we can actually lock the canvas as well. We can still pan around in the canvas, but we can't move any of the images. So if you ever find that, you know, you accidentally keep moving the images when you're trying to look for something, lock it down. So you don't have to move it. So usually what I do is I have lock canvas on, but I keep window unlocked. So I can still move this around if I need to, but it means I'm not accidentally moving the images from where I want them to be. And once you know where an image is, if you accidentally move it and it's somewhere else, you can get kind of get lost and it goes into a whole nother thing. Now, again, if we go into our right click menu, we've got our settings and in here you've got all the different settings that you want. If you want to look at them, you can change a lot of the design of the whole thing. You can even change the colors so you can change the background color to actually be a lot more transparent or completely transparent if you want to make it even more conspicuous. But also what we can do is we can change all the keybinds so these are literally all the shortcuts that you use to work the whole software and they've got a lot of them but if you remember them you're kind of doing great you've got all the controls all the different little things but with all these shortcuts you can change them to something that suits you better if let's say you've got a macro pad a shortcut keys or you've got a stream deck for example you can literally use any of these buttons to map them to those key binds just to make things a little bit easier for you. Again, you can make it the mouse button buttons, kind of go wild, do whatever you want, whatever makes your life easier. And that's kind of what is great about this software is that it's so customizable that it can fit almost everyone's use. I know every designer or artist, anyone who needs some sort of references, needs somewhere to keep their references. And this is the best way that I have found to keep your references. So there you go, something a bit different today. But if you think Pure Ref is going to be something that you're gonna find useful in your workflow, then definitely give it a download. Like I said, the link is in the description below to their website, definitely give it a go. If you like this kind of video of going through a different but still related software, then let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more videos, possibly like this. Depends if you like them. Like I said, let me know. And as always, I've been Brown Bear. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.